this is my linkage for the clutch. That is the clutch. So it goes from the clutch pedal down to the linkage right over here. And uh, remember this was really worn out here and it was really worn out there. Went and purchased the bushings which fit right over that so that will prevent the wearing down until this wears out but it should be fine. And uh, I had purchased the uh, felt washer for the linkage that goes right in there. That sits in there. Um, I had purchased the washer to go over that, but I realized that was for a Mustang, which does not have this built-in lip here. That's to keep the bushing right where it's supposed to be, and when you have a a pin that goes all the way back against the the uh, nut, nut there, then that's when you need to have that bushing to keep the the felt bushing to keep the nylon bushing from uh, moving around. But as you notice, I have that lip there, and the nylon bushing it sits on there properly. I had to replace it because this you see the crown there that was worn flat. After 50 years, that's what happens. So I've got the linkage all cleaned up. There's the spring and the lever that goes to the clutch release lever. Got all the cotter pins ready to go. 3 32nd cotter pins and a little bit larger. Got the washers. And so this is how this assembles. This doesn't have a bushing here. That just has the really thin washer. A lever, another really thin washer, and then the cotter pin goes right through there. But it's all nice and cleaned up and painted, so I'm going to assemble this and install. I mentioned in an earlier video uh, that this hole here was larger when it was originally stamped, but my neighbor that repaired did some, the repairs on my the uh, the rod there uh, filled this in a little bit around the circumference so that it wasn't so sloppy and loose when it fits onto here. It was pretty, it was very loose. Um, and it hadn't worn out that way, it just that's the way it was. So it fits beautifully now. Put a little bit of wheel grease, wheel bearing grease around that. And the pen there. Put the cotter pen through. And bend that back. Got that there. Yeah. That's all I need to do right there. That's good to go. There are all the parts together. Got the equalizer rod in my hand here. And right there we've got the, that's where the equalizer bar, this rod connects the equalizer bar to the clutch release lever. So the clutch release lever fits right into that little um, camber there, chamfered end, I guess. And I've got this bushing all greased up because I had to replace that bushing because it was worn flat, so that inserts right in there. And this goes into the engine housing, so I might put a little more grease on there. Why not? Couldn't hurt. Put a little grease on that. This wheel bearing grease, I have it laying around. Hopefully it's good enough. And uh, I, I had to drill out the hole here on the equalizer bar a little bit. You can see right there, it was just a little bit tight when my friend fixed it. Uh, that had been worn oblong and it worn a hole in the uh, the pedal, uh, clutch pedal rod goes from the equalizer, from the clutch pedal to the equalizer bar, I should say, that rod. <coughs> if you remember, it was worn out and it didn't have a bushing in there, so this bushing wouldn't fit once it was, re this bushing wouldn't fit once it was repaired. So I'm going to put that bushing in there. Put a little grease on it. slides in there and 
the clutch release well the rod from the clutch pedal down to the bark goes right in there and that just goes right in there beautifully so now I've got that little bushing in there and on the other side of that the 332nd that's cotter pin it will go in there with the washer on the other end and hold the uh, the rod from the clutch pedal to the equalizer bar in there so I'm going to go install that now you can see where it's going to go there is the uh, bushing for the equalizer bar bracket it's going to attach right over here the other end oh, right right there to the engine block and you can see right down over here that's where the uh, clutch rod is so I'll take it from the, the clutch pedal to the equalizer bar so I'm going to attach this all now you can see I have everything in place here there's the equalizer bar running from the the equalizer bar bracket over to the, the, the should go over here to the block and there's the rod that connects the equalizer bar to the clutch release lever which is right down there at the tip right there move that wire out of the way so you can see there you go see that and over here that's where the clutch rod comes down from the clutch pedal to the equalizer bar so that's the clutch pedal to equalizer bar rod I guess you'd call it that's the new boot that we replaced right there it's working out well um, so I'll you saw that I greased everything up well, I've got the equalizer bar in here just it's not tightened up or anything so right down there there's the, the lever yeah, clutch release lever so I'm going to have to insert this into there, a little gap there, a little dip, and then I'll hook up the spring. Then I will tighten up the stabilizer bracket for the stabilizer bar. I've got some grease, you can see right in there, it's all greased up. Greased it up right in there, you can see all the grease that's in there. And that was just the, the uh, washer falling off. The <laughs> Right up in there where the clutch rod comes down from the clutch pedal. Need to get a smaller uh, cotter pin because the one fell down and I can't get to it. So this is coming along. It's all cleaned up, ready to be tightened up, and I'll have the linkage installed. Oh, and I'll have to, then I'll have to get this. The, attach the brake line to the bra stabilizer bracket and it'll be good to go. It's so nice and clean now, you can't hardly see anything. It's all black. <laughs>